During times of uncertainty, it's comforting to know we have a healthcare system in our community that's been committed to supporting us for well over a century. In this current time, we are standing together and our bond is stronger than ever. KDMC, caring for our community like no one else can. Okay, uh, you know, my opening statement is we, we lost to a very good team. It's really uh, gut-wrenching to uh, lose shooting nine for 22 from the foul line. Uh, we, we've been doing a good job in the foul line uh, since the first game where we were horrible. And again, today, it came back and bit us. So we shoot a lot of foul shots every day in practice. Uh, and there was three of them that were front ends of one-on-one. So anytime you miss the front end of one and one that's two points that you're missing out on. We had six points lost in that situation. There was a chance there, and I'm really, you know, talking to one of my guys about staying mentally tough and not, you know, dwelling on the miss, but trying to just evaluate why did I miss to try to improve your shot. And that's what we need to do moving forward. Uh, oh. I'm sorry, I'm still talking. Uh, when you look at the stats as well, you know, I thought there were some, some times in the game, uh, I think it was the end of the first overtime, we called a timeout to make sure we weren't gonna let them score a three. We switched every ball screen. We were just, anything we had to do to not let them get a three with 31 seconds left, and we made a mistake and came out the guy in the corner, probably out of fatigue, and, and uh, 23 for them, hit a huge three to put it in a second overtime. You know, worst case scenario, they score there, we have the ball, and uh, you know, 20 seconds left on the clock. So that was a that was a big mistake. A lot of mistakes, not trailing shooters like Watson, uh, you know, or, and I, I give them credit. I mean, I'm not kidding you. Tonight, uh, Crutcher made two threes tonight that were both, but all three of his threes were 24 to 27 feet off. They were big time NBA threes. Guy's a really good player. He's he's an absolute stud. And you can see why that team has won 29 and two last year. They know how to win plus games. So give them a lot of credit. Dayton's very well coached and has a really good team. Questions? Go ahead and start it with Joel. Joel, go ahead. And after Coach is done, we'll have to eat for you. Joel, go ahead. Ben, you obviously could have enjoyed it a lot more in a victory, but DJ with a humongous night. Um, I, I guess you knew you knew losing your your top four scores coming into this year, you were going to need DJ and Iverson, those guys, to step up. But just we've talked a lot about Iverson. How pleased have you been with what you've gotten from DJ, and especially tonight? Yeah, DJ was phenomenal. Like the three hit the corner was a huge one to to you know tighten thing back up late, and I think the the first overtime. Uh, you know, he just did so many good things for us uh, offensively. You know, creating off the bounce, scoring at the rim. I'd like to see him get to the foul line a little bit more. But he's doing a, a tremendous job. I'm playing in too many minutes. You know, I look at this game, I, I didn't play Jalen Johnson enough minutes. We have to play Jalen Johnson because we've got to get some more scoring out of somebody. I mean, well, I know we're going to get scoring out of those three guys at the end tonight because they had double figures in every game. We've got a fourth player that's got to give us some some ability to score. Joel, do you have a follow-up or do you uh, do we need to go to Courtney? Uh, you can go on to Courtney for now. All right, Courtney, go ahead. Coach, obviously a lot of guys getting a lot of minutes in a game like today. How did you feel about your team's stamina today? I thought we, we showed a lot of, uh, you know, I think Colin Crane, our strength coach, does a great job because those guys that played so many minutes really handled it well, and especially you know, the guys and DJ. I mean, they, they've had to play an incredible amount of minutes, but you know, it was a 50 minute game, especially DJ. It's just, uh, you know, he's an unbelievable athlete to be able to sustain that level of play at both ends of the floor and, uh, and be able to fight through fatigue the way he does. Courtney, do you and then in a, yeah, in a, in a season like this with COVID and just depth being so critically important. Do you feel like stamina is going to be something that's increasingly just more important this year? 
Yeah, I think stamina, but also I just gotta use our bench forever. I mean, like I said, we, I didn't play uh, Jalen Johnson nearly enough. So that's a coaching error that will have to be corrected here moving forward. Any other questions for coach before we get DJ in there? Let's go ahead and go back to Joel. I know, I know you mentioned this a minute ago a little bit, Ben, but with, with the free throw struggles tonight, do you feel like that's just kind of a fluke thing? Um, is there anything in particular that you're worried about, maybe that kind of sticking in guys' minds and, and being a, a problem moving forward? Yeah, and that's why the only way you can work through your foul shoot, and, and both, uh, for example, both Cameron and uh, JD are very capable. They've been shooting very well in practice in the foul line. Uh, but it's just practice. You've got to do it all in repetition, shooting 100 every day. And that's where we're going to get to, just shooting 100 every day and really focus on every single one of them. Uh, so that you step up there no matter where, what point of the game. And see, I thought Cam got down on himself when he missed uh, a couple of free throws late in the game. And that affects the next one. And uh, you can't do that. You just got to stay positive and self correct. Or if I see something that I think needs to be corrected, I'll mention it to them. But they're great kids, they're hard workers, and I hope they're both confident to figure it out. Thanks, Coach, for your time. We'll go ahead and get DJ up there. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Thank you, We're going to get DJ settled in here. He, he is in the room, so we'll get him settled in in just a second. Uh, with it just being two of you, I'm going to have Joel start with questions, and then we'll go to Courtney. So once DJ gets settled in, Joel, you can go ahead. DJ, you, you probably could have enjoyed it a lot more with a W, but you, of course, have a huge night. Uh, you knew coming into this year how big of a role you were going to have to play on this team after losing the guys that you all lost. Just how comfortable are you right now being, you know, I, I guess one of the – main center points of this team and and you have a big night tonight of course just are, are you completely comfortable playing that leadership role uh, i really am because uh, i put it all the way like all the time i like put it all the way and just stand up and thank god that i'm even in a position to come back so i'm able to fuck Joel, do you have any follow-ups? Are you good? Well, I was going to – I didn't know if Courtney had one. I was going to ask, too, DJ. We, we were talking to Coach Allen about the free throw shooting tonight and some of the struggles at the line there. Uh, just – is that something that's just basically boils down to everybody just shooting a lot of more shots from the line in practice? Or, or is that something that can kind of stick in your head a little bit moving forward? Yeah, uh, we definitely have to in practice take free throw shooting serious. We have to focus more on practice when we join it and break off the groups. Thanks, Joel. Courtney, go ahead if you have anything for DJ. Yeah, DJ, obviously a career day for you, but what do you want to take away from this game to help yourself improve going forward this season? Uh, just coming to bed overall. You know, uh, just, just do anything on my team. Man. Anything else for DJ? All right, thank you, guys. We appreciate it.